everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain how to craft ice blocks and also explain how the cold proximity effect works. I'm going to give some examples here, starting with the cheapest, going to the most expensive, and then finally, I'll give an NFT only example, which is really overpowered. So this first example is using a water facility to craft industrial ice blocks. It takes 10 minutes, so it takes a very long time in the water facility. Now for all ice blocks, you do need two water drums and three passive gold. Now the water drums, you can craft them in the water facility or you can get them passively from water pumps. So you would need two water pumps in order to supply two water drums to the water facility. As for the passive gold, this is the cheapest version on how to do it and that's using wizard's workshops. Each wizard workshop gives one passive gold. So as you can see right here, one passive gold, I'm gonna build another one, two passive gold and build the third one. Now it has all the passive gold it needs to start crafting ice blocks. Now this is the cheapest setup. It's one pond, two water pumps, one water facility, one storehouse to deposit the ice blocks in, three wizard workshops, five dirt roads and this setup costs a total of 4.6 million dollars to build this is the slowest setup and the cheapest one moving on to the second example this one we have a santa's factory now the santa's factory gives two passive cold to the water facilities so you can see we have two water facilities in this one both have two passive cold we have our water pump set up like this. So now that we have two passive gold, we're going to need one more passive gold. So you would still need a wizard's workshop that would supply that with the census factory would supply the full three passive gold. Now you can craft ice blocks there. Yeah, two of them crafting ice blocks. Now, just to give an, uh, another example real quick, you could craft your uh, water drums like I mentioned earlier and uh, once you have the two water drums then you can craft ice blocks and it would just pick up the water drums and craft ice that way uh, that way you would just need enough water to craft the water drums and you wouldn't need to put it next to a water pump so that's another example right there now, as for this main example right here, uh, disregarding this water facility and the warehouse, uh, this is two ponds, two water pumps, two water facilities, one storehouse, one Santa's factory, and one wizard's workshop. All of that costs about $6.6 .6 million to build. This setup is, I suppose you could say, slightly faster since you're using two water facilities. But of course way more expensive now moving on to the third example right here so instead of a water facility this one is using a master wizard the master wizard is able to magically craft ice blocks same requirements three cold and two water drums but the craft time is only 30 seconds instead of a full 10 minutes so it's way faster you could say 20 times faster than the water facility which is great so one would be enough to get all the ice you need to build whatever you're trying to build for example so right here cheapest way to supply coal to it is to have three wizards workshops and as you can see it starts crafting the magical ice block which is just the same as the industrial ice block it's just an ice block and it's going to deposit it to the nearest storehouse and back here is the water pump setup. These buildings are all pretty tall, as you can tell. So this setup right here is one pond, two water pumps, one master wizard, three wizards workshops, one storehouse, and five dirt roads. So that's going to cost about $7.6 million. This is the most expensive setup, but the fastest by far. So that's the three setups. That you could do with no nfts it just costs a lot of cash i'm gonna quickly show you the nft only set now, if you have the correct nfts you can start crafting ice blocks in the first minute 
of starting your town, which is insanely overpowered because I just explained how expensive that setup was just to craft ice. So I'm going to place a couple of NFTs right here and you'll be able to see that. You do need two passive water drums. That's going to give me the two passive water drums. And I also need to place down a road in order so I can in order to place down some buildings. I have an uncommon paved road right there. And we're going to have our master wizard NFT. So it has the two passive water drums. Now it just needs the passive gold. So on either side of that road, put down the legendary Santa's factory NFT, which gives four passive gold. That's the NFT version for passive gold right there from the legendary Santa's factory. Now I can start crafting ice blocks. Now, of course, I need somewhere to store them. So I would put them in the big storehouse NFT. Uh, preferably, if I had another road, uh, where I could just build the dirt road. I would put the road right here and I would put the storehouse right here. That way I could have the two buildings face each other. So the ice blocks would go into the storehouse slightly faster. But essentially, that's how easy it is to craft ice blocks if you have the correct NFTs. Uh, so hopefully all these examples help you out. And one last thing I want to mention, there are other NFTs that give passive gold. There is the Wizards Workshop, Rare Wizards Workshop NFT version. That one does give two pounds of gold. And then there's the Rare North Pole Creation, North Pole Lab Creation NFT. And that one gives one passive gold. You could get passive gold those ways. But as far as in game, the only way to get passive gold as of recording this video is the Wizards Workshop that gives one passive gold and the Santa's Factory that gives up the two passive gold. So if this video helped you out, feel free to leave a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already. I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching.